I had him parked outside for like 20 minutes. Come on. Come on. What's up everybody? So, last piece that I need to touch in the interior. Technically, not the last piece. I gotta do two things. I have to, one, rewire the radiator fans. The radiator fans were hooked up to a ghetto switch. I made a nice switch. Never wired it back up. I literally just kind of left it alone, uh, but the switch is there. So I have to run a wire from the battery to the uh, radiator fans, back all the way to it, back to the switch. Whatever, it, it's not too bad. It'll be off in the park. I don't know if I'm gonna film it because I already did the radiator fans. So you get the gist, but I'm gonna wire it up to the little switch panel that I made and it'll look pretty good. Only other thing is the passenger window does not go down on the car. I got a full door for my buddy. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to get the motor regulator thing out of this door and then move it on over to Georgie and hopefully we'll be in good shape. window regulator and we have a motor and they are I believe one one giant unit I'll jam some shinetsu in there bada bing bada boom somewhere in like that I took a lot of stuff apart that I definitely didn't need to take apart but it gave me a better understanding on how this window system works so now all I have to do is go to Georgie do the same exact thing and hopefully I don't break the door cards or anything important. Old regulator is out, old window is out. I'm glad I took the window out too, or uh, I'm glad I actually got an extra door. So I can put the non-tinted glass in, which is awesome. And also this door molding on Georgie is super shot. This one's not too bad. I mean, it's it's got primer on it and it's a little misformed, but it doesn't have holes in it. Let me show you the one that came off of George. <laughs> Almost dripped. This one, Definitely not keeping any water out. I almost forgot about the special sauce. Gotta put that Shinetsu grease in there. Put a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully it works its way in. And yeah, this stuff is magic, so windows will go up and down nice and smooth. Hey, I'm gonna risk it. Normally you plug everything in and you see if the motor works. I'm not gonna do that. For the sake of me being a dumbass, I'm gonna put it all in there and then test it. Like, that's, uh, you set yourself off for failure when you do stuff like that. But we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> put it in there, put it all in there, and then cross our fingers that there's no problems. Everything's done right. Shinitsu is gonna be doing the Shinitsu thing. And yeah, you never know. <laughs> So this is the moment of truth, I guess. Let's see. It's on. Oh, that sucks so bad. You f dumbass. <laughs> oh, you idiot. What a waste of time.
Dude, the motor works. The motor works. <sighs> Why doesn't this work? It's getting voltage. I'm confused. So I tested the windows. Uh, it, the wiring's not great, so it goes up and down if I jump it at here. Um, so I was like, it's gotta be the switch. Took apart the switch, and you can kinda see why it's not working. These little pieces are so worn out. So what I'm going to do is try and sand them up a little bit. See if that works. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. Um, where you see the the silver ones, they're not supposed to be silver, but the silver ones are worn down so much. I don't know if you can tell. They're they're noticeably shorter than the uh, than the copper colored. So I'm gonna try and scuff those up, clean them up, and try and put this thing back together. See what happens. Worst case scenario is uh, I make some more switches <laughs> for my windows. All right, so look at these little johns. They're metal now. You couldn't really see it before, but I sanded those down, sanded these little contacts down. This is like the only way I could really get them to sit in. So I guess I'm gonna pop the switches back on and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. I have the switch back into its little switchy key on. I can hear it click. Oh, oh baby. It goes really slow and it gets stuck. That's probably something going on in here, but it works now. Okay, little bit of redemption for being a total dumbass. Now that that's all fixed up, I can put this whole thing back together, figure out why this is catching on something. I don't know what you got going on here. But uh, yeah, smack this whole jaw back together and we'll be good to go. So I worked some of the Shinitsu grease in, just going up and down a couple times. Look at how fast this window goes down. I've never had a Miata have it go down that nice. It always struggles, even in my personal car. All right. So now we're, we're cooking with some butter here. It doesn't catch up, it goes all the way down and all the way up. Let's go. Tired of working on George today, but I figured while I have this apart, it'd be make the most sense in order to just never take it apart again. I have to wire in my radiator fan. So this is what I got. I got two little wires with little ring terminals. And on the switch itself, there's little screws. So I'm gonna screw those two ring terminals on, loom this up, and basically run it to where this window switch is for now. Just kind of stuff it in here. I'm gonna loom this up. It'll be loomed in three, two. That was a shitty snap. Let's try this again. Three, two. I can't snap with the left hand. Ready? Three, two. Okay, good to go. So we have our loom. I made them offset so I can have it like this. So I did some math. And so I'm gonna attach that, run that, smack this thing back together and call it a freaking day. All right, interior is finally back together. Hopefully you don't have to take anything else apart. So I'm gonna bolt the seats in. I haven't bolted the seats in in so long. These are my little wires that I ran for my switch. It'll be easy to get to those. Just these two screws, these two screws. At least there's wires going to it so I don't have to take tombstone out anymore, which is sick. So we have this moment of truth. Everything's back together on. Oh, you piece of shit. Come on, dude! <laughs> <laughs> uh.
So we're having our first spring-ish day. It's like almost 60 degrees out in Rhode Island. So we're gonna drive Georgie down the road, but he's out of gas. So we're not going to the car wash. We're just gonna pressure wash him here. I'm pretty sure absolutely nothing's gonna happen besides we're gonna blow the paint off in a bunch of places, but at least we'll get the dust out. And that's kind of half the battle, honestly. Like this thing's a dusty, dusty guy. So we're gonna see what happens. This has gotta be the worst pressure washer I've ever seen in my life. I bought it because it says Honda. I like Honda, but you know, it's, it's a Ryobi, so it gives me trouble. Every single time I use it, for some reason, it just doesn't, doesn't want to do the thing. So let's see how she goes, how long it takes to get it running and stay running. So we've painted cars before. The paint job we've done never came out this bad. <laughs> so whoever painted this car, they really, they really set yourself up for success here. We've got the uh, new. You ripped the skin off. I basically skinned him. He's got speckles all over. It honestly looked better before. Normally when you wash a car, it looks a little better after. The trunk looks okay-ish because that was from a different car. But, oh my lord, this isn't good. No, no, it's not. no, like, this is a good view of it. You can see that the entire car is now, uh, now speckled. I don't like those old ladies that stay out in the sun too long and then they get the, like, the sunspots. Georgie's got sunspots. Oh, oh, you can, it, dude, it looks freaking kind of funky when you're this close. When you back up and realize you can see every streak I did on the power washer on the medium setting, doesn't look good. Maybe it looks good from back here. Ready? Dude, he looks freaking perfect. All right. Well, fun fact, you can't really drive George in the rain, I guess, because we got fucking water down. We got the seat soaked there. We got that seat soaked there. Oh, no. why we're here. That's why we're here, making this thing. He probably just wants to try it. Not allowed to, but he'll show us a good time. Yeah. So, lost George. <laughs> and now George is Put gas in him. I was like, he's out of gas. This has got to be it. Like, he's not reading anything on a gas gauge. He's got to be out of gas. 
Uh, George doesn't want to do anything right now. He's he's really sad. We'll give it a shot. Ready? Listen to this. He's not happy, and it's really smoky. He really got the ball right now. He's sneezing and farting over here. Dude, what is good with George, man? So uh, my first thought was that maybe there was water inside the uh, coil packs, and that's what caused the misfire. But I pulled those out, looked inside, and there's nothing. But I blew it out anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is just crank over the engine with no spark plugs in it and see if any water comes out of the spark plug holes. So these spark plugs are new, relatively new. Like they have one test drive on them and then the rest is just kind of idling. So all of these are black as night. So Georgie is running super rich. One thing I've never done is verify timing. So I kind of want to check the timing with a timing light because it is running really rich. And that's kind of more of a, a better explanation of the smoke. So I'm gonna figure this out, but I needed to get to, I need to get the car started first. This project is just me being a dumbass and messing stuff up. <laughs> And then and then trying to fix it, but slowly slowly Georgie is coming together And I gotta figure out why. Not good, but he is running again, which is good. So, what I'm gonna do is I kinda wanna check timing. I've never checked timing on this car. I might try and wire in the fans real fast. Real fast light, so I can have Gordy idle and get to operating temp, and then I can do proper tests on it. And I know I'm all over the place. I apologize for this. Um, but there's so much to do. There's just so many things that need to get finished on this stupid little car. What I'm gonna do now is get the radiator fans to work with my fancy new switch, and then, and then, we'll be good to go, hopefully. So what I have going on here is a little rudimentary test. I have a fan that I had lying around, wired that in to the output on our little relay. The relay being supplied power, from a Milwaukee battery. The wires that come out of the relay that go to the existing switch, they are here. I plug this in, bada bing, bada boom. We have the black wire unplugged. We have everything set up. The fan be fanning. Oh, thank God. The final test, we have fans. It goes there, it goes there, it goes through this pretty loom into the less pretty loom, through around here, through the thing, bada bang, bada boom, right through the back. We go into the back, we go through the relay, we go to the battery, and it goes through the switch. Woo! 
Okay, that literally took me like an hour to do. This thing better still run. Oh yeah. Oh, keep going, buddy. Yeah. Oh, he runs so bad. Georgie has been giving me hell this morning. Sounds like he is cammed and built. Have a listen. The starter also seized up on me five times this morning while I was trying to get it started. Had to tap on it with a hammer a couple times, so. Georgie needs a starter, apparently. I didn't record any of this. I was like, this is just pointless. I'm doing this for no reason. It's far sad. But listen. Listen to George. He seems pretty happy. was the uh, exhaust. There was just so much smoke and I couldn't figure out what was going on. He was misfiring and... Still got a little funky, lumpy oil going on here, but... No more smoke. George seems to be happy. Only downside is my starter decided to die, so... That's a little, little bit annoying, but uh... Georgie's been kicking my butt. Just runs a little iffy. Um, the timing was off by 20 degrees. He was 20 degrees advanced. Not good, not good. I mean, I, I should have checked that. I'm lucky I didn't blow it up or anything. Ben kind of beat the shit out of it last time, so. Ah, what are you gonna do? Anyway. What I did is I took the throttle off. So this is our throttle. It's a little goopy and poopy here. It's just not running the way I want it to. And at the bottom here, this is the idle air control valve. I'm not exactly sure how important it is, but I would like to try and take it apart and clean it out and see if this crack makes a difference. And I tested the throttle position sensor. That one's good. I also tested the fuel injectors. I tested the fuel pressure regulator. Now I figured clean out the throttle body, see what's good with this idle air control valve thingy. I just want Georgie to run right. Drift season is upon us people and I'm gonna beat the dog out of this piece of car. And I swear to God, if I don't smack him into all my friends and make them cry, then I'll be doing something wrong. But I can't do that unless he runs right. clean since I'm taking everything else off uh, come come take a walk with me real quick let's pour this out oh my lord there's so much oil dude Or 
Jeff George just doesn't want to run. Getting him started sucks. But right now he seems to be... Seems to be doing the thing. I'm starting to get to the point where I think Georgie's running about as good as he will ever run. transmission out. Who knows? You never know what you're going to get in this channel. I appreciate everybody for subscribing and watching, but until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.